Oh my god! Oh my god! My boy is gone! You won't believe what Legaya just did! What did he do? I have goosebumps, Tita! What did he do? Oh my god. What did she do? Oh my god! My boy is gone! Miniature flu! That's awesome! It's about to fly! <laughs> Ligaya, that is so great! Wow. Holy! And I, we saw her do it and we were like, OMG! Ligaya, this is crazy! She's looking at us like, what just happened? Ligaya, don't you realize what happened? You took flight! You partook in the miracle of avian flight! I don't think she can fly that far. Get, get, get a food. But she can fly like enough to at least jump. I mean, yeah, look at that chasm. Seriously. Wow. The Gaia, that's awesome. How did it feel? You're so lucky. How did that feel? Huh? Was that cool? Was that really cool? Yeah. That is great. Step up. Step up. Yeah. She's so excited. Oh my goodness, you know what this means? I gotta practice recall still. Oh my goodness, and um, I don't have your harness yet. The harness isn't coming till later. OMG, I am mind blown. Yeah. Ligaya, this is crazy. Yeah. Ligaya, do you realize what you just did? Huh? That was just a baby fly. You might go back to the table. Let's do this again, but further. Okay, so here's the chasm. Let's make the chasm bigger. Okay, Ligaya, let's see if you can make that jump. Step up. Good girl. Step down. Okay. Go jump. Come. Ligaya, come. Ligaya, come. Come on, Ligaya. Go, go, go. Jump. Yes, you could do it. Make the jump. Do exactly what you did before. Okay, stretch first. Stretch. Yes. Is it too far? She wants to fly. Ooh, she OMG. Wants to fly, OMG. You're giving me a heart attack. Come on. Come on, you can do it. It's kind of far, but I know you can do it. Yes. Oh, why are you going that way? This way. Ligaya, come. Come here. Yes, right here. Come. Ligaya. Come, come. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Just jump and flap those flappers. Okay. This way. Yes, come. She's like, whoa, that's far. I don't know if I could do it. Yes, you can do it. Come on, go do it. Yes. Come on. She like is about to do it and then she like second guesses herself. Go. No, don't go that way. Go this way. Come. Yes, you can do it this way. Come. I need to see. She needs some kind of motivation. You know what I'm saying? Ligaya, I got seeds. You see that? I got seeds. So come, come. Come. You can do it. Here, jump, jump, jump. You can do it. Here, here, here. Oops. Oh, oh almost. Oh, slippery. Oh, come on, Ligaya. Jump, jump. Here, here, here. Come on, come on. Jump, 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 jump. Ah, oh, it's too far for her, I think. Okay, sorry. We're just overwhelmed with the fact that you jumped and flew. Seriously. Here, okay, fine. Look, it's closer. We just want to see it again. We want to see what nature made you do. Come, jump, jump. Look at how close it is, see? Look at how close. You can do this. Okay, maybe there's too much pressure. We should just do it when she's ready. Okay, I'm walking away. I'm gonna leave this piece of sunflower seed here, right here. This is where the sunflower seed is. OMG. Oh, I think she's gonna do it again. Look, here's a seed right here. Here's a seed right here. The guy, look. Right here, see? Seed. Okay, so she didn't jump the chasm anymore, but at least we caught her, and at least she attempted to like miniature fly. That's great, you hop flew. That's the first step. OMG, Mabuhai squad. Our baby parrot is no longer a baby. She just had her, she was airborne for like a split second. Good girl. Wow, she's super excited right now. <laughs> I think she's just totally happy she flew. I don't know. It's pretty exciting, right? <laughs> she's in such a good mood. 
I know, it's pretty awesome what you did just now. Amazing. Mabuhay squad and I are so proud of you. Feel free to fly once again, anytime, and wow us with your natural skills of like flight. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Seriously, that warrants a wow, wow, wow. So tonight, she'll be sleeping here in her perch and go, but I don't think she's comfortable yet sleeping perched. I mean, she's done it a couple times, but I still feel like she's more comfortable sleeping on the floor. So I've placed some of her soft um, blankets at the bottom here, and I've removed the perch, which is right here. Mm -hmm. It kind of gets in the way, but I'll add it after when we travel. But she'll sleep here. And I believe I will close the door when she's inside sleeping. And then I'll just cover this with this awesome red blanket. See, YouTube blanket. All right, so I also just discovered I can mount the perch up here as well. So I, on the outside of the perch and go. Um, and I also realized you can mount it at the back there, the door that doesn't really swing open. And so it can just kind of extend. And then the bird has acrylic clear plastic in the front and the back of the bird. It's a different orientation, I guess. Cool, this, this perch and go is so versatile. It was a good investment. You're gonna sleep here, Ligaya. Don't you miss sleeping in a nest box, hmm? We're taking you way back to your childhood. You know what I'm saying, know what I'm saying? Back to the good old days. Good girl, eating your pellets. So proud of you. Such an adult bird now. Look at her, look at her grabbing it with her foot. I'm so not used to this. I'm not used to this mobility and like dexterity. Where, where, where's this coming from? Who, who is this bird? Is this a bird? Is this like some kind of acrobatic dinosaur? You know what I'm saying? Wait a sec, how did you get up there? That's quite the climb. Oh my, oh my. Legaya, you are climbing like crazy. That I've never seen her climb that distance before. Wow, seriously. I think by the time we get home tomorrow night, you'll be able to climb all over the cage. The confidence, man, the confidence. Oh, she just flew again. Oh my gosh, okay. This is like a two-year-old or three-year-old all of a sudden learning to walk. It, it's a different ball game now, cause like she's not limited. Oh, look at her hopping around and flying. She's not limited anymore. You're, you're, you're too free all of a sudden. Oh man, I really, there's more pressure now to practice recall with her. Ligaya. She's coming. She's learned that the whistle means food. Good girl. Guys, this is crazy. She's so unbridled <laughs> is the best word I could say right now. Now, here's the problem with this whole situation, right guys? So like about a week ago or a week and a half ago, I went on Amazon and ordered an aviator harness. It's basically a harness designed for birds for when you take them outside. They don't sell this harness here in the Philippines. You have to order it online. I went on Amazon and guess what? The only place that had a harness that could ship to Philippines was this one place that takes like a month and a half or something to get there. So I gotta wait till like two weeks from now. Oh, gee. So this is how she does it. She grabs it with her mouth and she hangs. Oh, gee. you're becoming too mobile. What is it? What's up with this? Like one day you're this cute helpless baby chick, the next day you're Spider-Man. Seriously, what? <laughs> so this is why I'm stressing, because it's gonna be another week to three weeks. Can you believe it? Seven to 21 days from now is when I'm gonna get this harness. First of all, there's no guarantee she's gonna approve of having this harness, because it was advised that you have to introduce the harness to them as a baby. But, I mean, by the time she gets here, she'll be a senior citizen by then, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. And she is so mobile right now. Look at her. She totally got on the top of this, just on her own. Unbelievable. You're seriously unbelievable. Look at her climb down it. Look at that. You're so confident. Where did you get this newfound confidence? Give me your secret, seriously. Here, 
Okay. Let's practice some recall training, huh? Huh? <laughs> Enough Spider-Man time. Come on. Let's let's practice the important stuff. <laughs> Come on. The Gaia. The Gaia. The Gaia. Oh no. The Gaia. Okay, she's coming. Here goes. The Gaia. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, yes. Whenever you hear that whistle, I've got goodies for you. Please remember that when you're flying far, far away. Mm -hmm. Recall training is so important. I did not expect you to be like this X-Men like this soon, seriously. I feel like you're the fly a la the 90s series movies. Like seriously, it's like development on steroids. Good girl. Let's try again. The Gaia, come. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. This recall training is very productive. OMG, I can't believe how adult you are. OMG, seriously. Can we go back to the days when, you know, like you were mostly skin and I used to wipe your butt with all the poo? I miss wiping your poo. <laughs> You're getting good at that jump and saving yourself. Uh -huh. You wanna cuddle with me? You wanna cuddle? Yeah? You sleepy? You are climbing. You're you're such a climber. Like seriously. You're like a you're worse than a social climber. At BGC. So this beautiful hotel room has this toilet paper dispenser stand thing. And it is just Perfect for parrots. Like, I feel like this was originally a parrot stand. And then they just decided to make it a toilet paper stand. That is so funny. She loves it. Oops. Did you break the toilet paper stand? <gasps> oh no. Oh no, Ligaya. Yes. Yes. Whoa. Climb. Enjoy. Come cuddle with me. No, no, no. That is not a toy, that is my cell phone. You're going too fast. Mm -hmm. I see skies are blue, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world I see babies cry I watch them grow You grew too fast And I love you More than you'll ever know And I think to myself What a wonderful world I see friends shaking hands Saying how do you do they always say, I love you. I see babies crying. I watch them grow. Na -na -na. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. What are you? Ten and a half weeks old? Wow. Yeah. You're hungry. You're hungry, right? Hungry? Hmm? Okay. Dinner time. She was sleeping with me for a while. We're gonna eat soon. Sleep. Sleep. Hmm? We'll eat soon, I promise. 
just sleep, sleep for a few minutes. Okay, just a quick nap. See? Promise we're gonna eat soon. Mm -hmm. It's not time for dinner yet. Yes, yes. She is such a cuddly African gray. She's grinding her beak right now. I don't know if you can hear it, but it means she's content. Preening your feathers, your adult feathers growing in. It must be so itchy. It must be so itchy. Yeah, I know, I understand. Did you have fun today? Oh, scratching me. Here, let's cuddle, let's cuddle. Guys, I love this cuddle time. I always read African greys were not cuddly. Why are you so cuddly? Hmm? Why? Why are you so cuddly? Why are you so cuddly? Hmm? She's sleepy. I could tell she's preening her feathers while closing her eyes. I mean, she's sleepy. Well, we're gonna eat soon, and then you could go to sleep. Okay, sound like a plan? OMG. Look at my shirt. See that? No, that's not dandruff. <laughs> that's like the little, what is it? It's like the material that comes off the pin shaft of her feathers now that the adult feathers are growing out. Like, so there's the fibers of the feather, right? And there's like that shaft in the middle. It's like a pin. Because she's acquiring these adult feathers, the fibers are coming out of this pin and it's so itchy for her. So she's like picking at it and chewing off the pin shaft. That's the best way I can describe it. And it's like falling off everywhere. Speaking of which, another thing you guys might not know is that parrots produce feather dust. Feather dust, yes. Can you believe it? Like as in this dust comes off their feathers and like parrots, no! and cockatoos have it. Um, yeah, pretty much all parrots produce it. I don't know what it's for. I think maybe it, it has something to do with keeping their feathers dry when it rains. I'm not sure. It's like a powder and it gets everywhere. I haven't seen evidence of it so much really yet, but people say like it gets on countertops and all of this and something you kind of have to get used to. Yeah, feather dust. <laughs> she totally knows it's feeding time because she makes that noise. That what? You hungry? She totally knows I'm making her food. I'm not used to this like jump flying. See, she totally sees me making it. She's like, are you making my food already? Yes, I'm making it. See, the Gaia, you see this? It's your syringe. I'm making you dinner. Mm hmm I got lots of delicious formula for you. Mm hmm Mmm, delicious. I need toilet paper to wipe your beak. Yes, oops, don't fall in the sink, oops. You fell in the sink, or you here to stay here. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Again. Mmm. Delicious. Yes. Yes, here, and I'm gonna blow the whistle while doing this. Mmm. Again, again. Yes. Is it delicious? Oops. this like now that you're an adult bird I'm seriously going to miss this feeding process who knows when you'll stop eating formula this is like that feeling when like mothers have like babies that stop breastfeeding you know what I'm saying now I understand why they feel the way they do if you stop feeding from this syringe You'll be too independent. Like, I won't feel useful anymore. Like, do you still need me even after this? Okay. Mm. Will you still need me? Will you still feed me? When you're weaned from formula. This stuff looks so nutritious though. Mm -hmm. Please don't wean off this for a while. Come on, I need you to have leave something about you that's like babyish. All right, Mobile High Squad, heading to dinner now. Gonna see what this place looks like in the evening. Bring in the bird, the Gaia, who is stuffed. She already ate. Oh wow, it's beautiful at night. Look at, awesome. Look at the details. Just gorgeous. 
Unbelievable. Beautiful at night. Very nice. It does remind me of vegan a little bit. Montreal. Yeah, a little bit like Montreal. Like old Montreal. Old Montreal. Vieille Montréal. Everything here is just gorgeous. Seriously. Look at those lamps on the tree. Oh, there's even a jeepney. Wow, look at this building. <gasps> I love the ivy growing up it. Okay, seriously, if there was a parrot tree, it would definitely be this. This wins the award for the most parrot-friendly tree. Look at all those perches. Man, I really like these trees. I wonder what these trees are called. I should look it up. Because see, look, they're very very bird friendly i would like to plant some on my future property you know what i'm saying that was the tree that legaya was on earlier we're telling them about how she flew wow it is so gorgeous it's like it's like a village back in time look at the way they've done it it does not feel like 2018 seriously we found the restaurant oh oh beautiful <gasps> It's called La Bella Teodora. Italian restaurant? Italian? Wow, buonasera. Yes, hi Dexter. Hi. Wow. Mmm. Smells good here. <gasps> OMG. OMG, this is so awesome, guys. We're having Italian this evening. Leave this place. Wow. Thank you. Salamat. We got wines. Ooh. Look at this place. Unbelievable. Just gorgeous. I can't wait to try the food. Wow. Okay. They brought out the breads. Seriously. Awesome. And they have grated. They have cheese with uh, olive oil and what is that? Vinegar. Yes. Yeah. And you dip it. How Italian. How legit Italian. OMG guys. Calamari. Mmm. <gasps> Frutti di mare. As the Italians say. Seafood. OMG my boys. What? Calamari. We'll put some of the sauce on it and lemon. It's It's really seasoned well. Yeah. Omg, the pizza arrived. It's thin crust and stone oven. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Dexter! Wow. The other one is four cheese. Omg. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. This is the opening act. Look at this <gasps> pepperoni. Oh my gosh, the Filipino cook this, but it tastes so Italian. Look how thin that pizza is, seriously. There's nothing like brick oven pizza. It's really a different thing. Mm. That is so thin. I feel like I need an electron microscope to see the thickness of this. Mm. Mm. Calamari. It's my hybrid. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Look at the holder. The pizza holder. Amazing. Four cheese. Four cheese. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. There's a blue cheese in here or something. Mm. It's so sharp. Oh my god. Mm. I'm in cheese heaven. It's cheese heaven on pizza. So good. Mm. Wow. It was so thin it broke. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh my gosh, minestrone soup. Of course, it wouldn't be Italian without the classic minestrone soup. Let's try it. Mm. All right, all you Italians, listen up. I grew up in Toronto, Canada, but in a heavily Italian neighborhood. Western Road and 401, just south of Woodbridge, all Italians. All my friends were Italians, my neighbors were Italians. I even had to take Italian in school. This is why I always go, that's amazing, gah, because that's an Italian thing. I love Italian food. Promise you, my Bohe squad in Italy, I'm gonna come visit you guys. Mm. I love how Italians make everything from scratch. Seriously, all the Italians in the neighborhood, they make their own tomato sauce, sausages, canned peaches, and they give it all to us. OMG, I love living in that neighborhood. Also, Italian gardens are like so beautiful. They're so landscape. Love Italians. Ti amo. Viva, viva Italia. Guys, let's try the minestrone. Vegetables, tomato based sauce. Mmm, oh my god, mmm. Mmm. It's taking me back to my childhood, seriously. Mmm, guys, the pasta has arrived. Mmm, <gasps> creamy pasta. And I think I'm going to cheat my diet. Guys, let's try this pasta. There's ham, it's some kind of cream sauce. Mmm, with ham. Mmm, yes. Oh, it looks so creamy. Oh my gosh. Mm. 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 So good. Mm. This takes me back to my childhood. The cream sauce is slightly sweet, but thick and creamy. Delicious. OMG guys, it's not done. Pork chop. <gasps> oh ho ho. Oh wow, and chicken. <gasps> mm. Guys, let's try the chicken. Mm. Oh, man. Mm -mm. So tender, flavorful. Whatever it's seasoned with, it tastes so good. Mm. Mm. Chicken is a win. Let's try this pork. <gasps> pork chop. Mm. 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 I don't want more. But it's all the way across the other table. I gotta come up with a plan. Zucchini. Mm. It explodes in your mouth. I love zucchini. I'm speechless right now. I managed to get another piece of pork. Mm. That pork chop was chopped very porky ish. Mm. Mm. This is pork chop, I guess. Mm -hmm. And it's so delicious. So delicious, in fact, I'm having more pasta. Mm. Mm. Goodbye, Kato. That's all I'm saying. Hello CrossFit. Guys, I've had like four servings of pasta. Watch, because I'm usually on keto, when I do eat a lot of carbs, the next day, my body doesn't know how to deal with all of the carbs, so watch, tomorrow morning my face will be like this. I blow up like a balloon. Mmm. Mmm. So good. OMG, everyone's guessing what the dessert is. <laughs> RJ, do you have information as to what dessert is? No. Ryan says ice cream. Cake. Chea. Chea. <laughs> Gelato ice cream too. Mm. Cake. Ice cream. Tita. What's your guess? Cake. What cake? What cake? Specific cake. Chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. Oh, yeah. Cheesecake. Oh, I'm hoping it's cheesecake. Crossing my fingers. Italian? The dessert? Yeah, gelato. I would guess gelato or cheesecake or something like something like fancy like amaretto or you know what I mean? <laughs> right? I asked 
the staff to serve you uh, one of the most requested um, dessert here in Las Casas. <gasps> Did you hear that, my boy? I squad one of the most requested desserts. I wonder what that is. It's gotta be some kind of cake or like ice cream or something. Our baby is sleeping, Mabuhay Squad. She's had a long day. <laughs> OMG, this is it! It's frutas! There's another one. Oh, it's not it? Okay. But it still looks delicious. You got papaya. While waiting for this delicious dessert, I'm gonna have some papaya. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Love me some good papaya. This is melon. It's kind of like cantaloupe in North America, but slightly different. Mm. OMG guys, it's arrived. And for those who said ice cream, they were correct. Mm. It's taro flavored. Thank you. Huh? How what is it? They put? It's Why? delicious. What did oh, they put? delicious. OMG guys, they put Rice Krispies on. Oh yeah, rice krispies. Mm. Okay, so taro ice cream or gelato with like rice krispies on top. Mm. 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 This is homemade. This is homemade, yes. right? Oh my gosh, you can tell it's so good, it's so thick. Mm. The texture is good. Texture is good, homemade to say. The pinis is really. It makes it good. Yeah, so good. Mm. Sorbetes, they call it. I can't even describe how delicious this is right now, guys. I'm going to bed with sweet dreams. Guess who's sleeping next to me tonight? Mm-hmm. That's right. I think this will be the first time she sleeps in the same bed as me. <laughs> She's tired. She'll probably wake me up tomorrow morning early to feed her. Good night, Ligaya. Good morning. Look who slept beside me. Yes. You are so cute in there. I almost feel like I want you to sleep beside me every day now. Mm-hmm. At least you don't snore. Was it cozy in there? Hmm? Huh? Did you like it? I'll take that as a yes. Mm-hmm. Are you hungry? I think she just wants me to like scratch her head right now. She's like in the pre-waking up stages. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She just, just wants to be scratched. Good morning, Mabuhay Squad. Yes, it is early in the morning. I'm here with Ligaya. And before breakfast, I wanted to see these birds because they were waking me up. And I'm condensing again. Wait, guys, can you believe it? This resort has macaws on the property. What a coincidence. And I just wanted to see if Legaya over here will be okay around them and in close proximity of these macaws. Listen to them. And look at her, she's like coming to the edge all of a sudden. Okay, time to see a reaction between Legaya and these fellow parents. Here we go. 